Zuki's back, and you guys have been so busy designing and building Zooks. Rich, mate, you've been pretty busy as well. No, no, Jake, this isn't me. Everyone has been uploading loads of great oh. stuff to the Bamzuki website. There's cars, dinosaurs, a play, a helicopter. Mm. Hey, Rich, have you been busy as well? I hear you've made loads of great changes to Nosy. <laughs> well, yeah, I mean, uh, yeah. <laughs> I, no, no, I haven't. No. Right, I've spotted that now. OK, let's crack on with today's show and meet our first team. And they've got something in common with yours truly. We're called Canary Wolf because they're the best football team in the world. And we build the best Zooks in the world. Some people think their Zooks are good. But they haven't seen anything yet. Yeah! We love making all different kinds of Zooks, but the hardest part was to see which force we're going to show. Crocodilian's nose is really flat and it can push the blocks all the way to the end. Crocodilian is a block pushing master. First bulldozer wasn't very fast because his legs weren't in proper shape. So I got into the motion, then I made his legs go apart so then the legs crossed each other. And then he went really fast. Stingfire and Tarantula are our fastest Zeeks because we made their legs very thin. Tarantula has eyes for decoration and to keep an eye on the competition. You've seen our Zeeks, we're at the top of the league. And hoping to be on the score sheet today are Bulldozer, Crocodilian, Stingfire and Tranchily. Now, boys, I would love to stand here and talk about Norwich City all day, but we're not really allowed. So instead, let's concentrate on your zooks. So first of all, Tranchily and Stingfire look kind of similar. I know that they're both really fast zooks. Do you think they can do different jobs for you today, though, Joshua? Stingfire is excellent at hurdles. Tranchily, he's... He's really good at speed. Now, I know that you lot are Bamzuki fanatics. Joshua, how many Zooks do you reckon you've designed? 151. That is amazing. And are you sure that you've got the best four here today to grab victory? Yep. yep. Oh, you seem confident. Welcome to Bamzuki. Very best of luck. And it's now time to meet your opponents. And when it comes to Zook building, they think they're the professionals. I'm Claudia, and this is my team. Zook building was easy. We used our skills and teamwork. Having designs of Zooks helps because you can compare to see if they look different and decide which skills to give them. The tools are really useful. The one that I find the most useful is the copy body part, because once you're happy with the body part, you can just copy it and stick it on somewhere else. We did this with Slithery, because we were happy with one segment, and then we just copied it onto the other side. Bleepy's motion cycle is triangular, which helps him get over things instead of just going straight along the ground. At first, he had quite thick, chunky legs, but we thinned them so that they didn't have as much weight and so that they could go faster than he did before. Once all the movement is finished, I look at the colours. Slithery has lots of round body parts. That reminds me of a rock shape. So then I put lots of dark colours in, such as grey and black. As you can see, we're at the top of our game. No one can match us. Well, that's what we're about to find out. Meet Swimming Weber, Slithery, Bleepy, and Telly Oliver. What an amazing looking mix of Zooks you've got now. We've not yet met Swimming Weber. Claudia, tell me all about him. Originally, he was our fastest Zook, but he then developed into a hurdler. Now, I know that he's your favourite. Why is that? Um, because I was the one who made him, mainly. Slithery is the longest that we've ever had on Bamzuki. Why have you made him so long? Well, because he's so long, he can have lots of legs, which help him pushing. With lots of leg pushing force, then it's a lot stronger. Brilliant. Best of luck. Have a great show, and it's now time to get on with it. This is the first contest. <laughs> Beat the Boulder Zook Tag Teams is a brand new game here at Bamzuki and it is fantastic. Basically, what you've got to do is try and tag that target as many times as possible before your opposing Zook pushes this massive boulder up to the target. Now, your Zooks are going to have to do both. So you need a really powerful Zook, Curtis, for pushing the boulder, but also a really fast and manoeuvrable Zook, Louisa, for the tagging. So for the first time today, pick a Zook. Go on! <laughs> 
Well, straight away we're stretching the teams. Have they got a Zook that can do both? Bulldozer is tall and he's good at pushing. Teleolamon might be good. Crocodile might do well, but I don't think he'll do well against Bleepy. No, not Bleepy. No, he, 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 he's he yeah, all over the boulder. Yeah, bulldozer. 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 Yeah, swimming web up. Yeah. OK, you've made your decision. Back you come. Well, the Canary Wolves have chosen Bulldozer. They'll be hoping nothing will stand in his path. Meanwhile, the terrific Tasmanian Devils have gone for Swimming Weber. Will he create a splash? <laughs> Let's find out, Rich, shall we? Now, Bulldozer is the first Zook to be scoring. Ethan, take a look at Swimming Weber. Is he going to be strong enough to push that bowler Never. and stop you from scoring? Never. So you think you're going to win this one? Yep. Well, let's find out. Let's start the countdown. Three, two, one. Cheer. And off they go. Bulldozer scores his first point. And Zootag beat the boulder. And he gets another. But look at Swimming Weber. Really building up speed now as Bulldozer goes for a third and a fourth. But that's all he's going to get. He scores four. Four, which I think is pretty respectable, but at the same time, Swimming Web really moved that boulder along. Louisa, are you going to win this one? Yeah. OK, let's yeah. see. <laughs> OK, let's start the countdown. Three, two, one. Well, Swimming Weber has got four to beat, and he's already got two of them, but look at the speed of Bulldozer really powering along, and that's four all. Fantastic. Fantastic indeed, teams. That just goes to show you, you can never call it on Bamzuki. And that means, as we get on with the second contest, the scores are level. <laughs> Free Lily is another brand new game, and this one is all about speed. Right, Darian, take a walk around, and we're going to have a good look at how it works. What's going to happen is your Zooks will take off. They have to get through the poles, round the revolving doors, and down to the end to free Lily before your opponent does. However, if your Zook touches the colour pads at the start, you're going to release Fing and Fang. They'll slow you up, and you might not win. Think speed, and teams, pick your second Zook. Come on. Both teams chose well for the first contest, but the pressure's now on for a win. Yeah. I'm surprised yeah. they didn't use crocodilian in the last one. Crocodilian can bash through. It's quite good. Just please shoot him up there and free Lily. Oh, come on, please. Billy on crocodilian. OK, teams, back you come. Well, if you like made-up names, and I do, Jake, loads. You're going to love these. Crocodilian in green and Teleolomon in red. Cheers, Mitch. I think the names are fantastic as well, but I'm a bit worried. Crocodilian looks like his teeth are going to get injured, just dragging them along the floor like that. Curtis, Crocodilian is huge. Are you at all worried that Teleolomon, being smaller, is going to sprint through and get the victory? Well, never, not really. Well, let's find out. Let's start the countdown. Three, two, one... <laughs> Who is going to free Lily? Find out right now. Crocodilian there. He's through the barrier, but he has released Thing. Or is it Bang, who's going to give him some grief? But he seems to have broken free. And, well, look at Telly Oliman. He's beaten there as Crocodilian goes through the revolving door, makes his way to the end. He's free Lily. Okay. An amazing Come performance on. by Crocodilian. I mean, that Zook is fast. Poor old Telly Oliman just couldn't cope with Crocodilian. What was the problem? Well, when Crocodilian burst through, Telly Oliman couldn't burst through. I think you've got it right, Jack. Unlucky. And all that means that Canary Wolf are 1-0 to the good as we start the third contest. <laughs> Zook in a China shop is an old classic with a new friend. I think this might be a joke of riches to get Raptor to demonstrate it. So, um, off you go. Now, the aim of this is to knock down more poles than your opponent before the klaxon goes. Obviously, you need a Zook that's going to create total mayhem but some teams have really come a cropper because they haven't picked a Zook that can climb. And if you get stuck like that and you can't climb over them, you're not going to score very well. Teams, pick another Zook. Come on. Well, the Reds had a bit of a set too last time they were choosing. Let's see what happens this time. Oh, it's either Bleepy or Slithery. What about Stingfire? Blum, 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 blum. It's like Domino. <laughs> Stingfire. Stingfire. Yeah. Slithery. Stingfire. Interesting decision, teams. Let's go. Come on. Really looking forward to Zook in a China shop. Sure, it's going to be a smasher. Who have we got lined up? It's the two S's. Stingfire for the Greens and Slithery for the Reds. Cheers, Rich. Canary Wolf are up first with Stingfire. Claudia, you really need the points. We're getting very close to the final now. Yeah. How do you reckon Stingfire's going to do? I don't know. He might, he, I think he's going to do pretty well, but not as well as Slithery. OK, let's find out. Let's start the countdown. Three, two, one. <laughs> well, it 
usually shows pretty early in China Shop whether a Zook is a good design or not, and this one looks fantastic. He can climb over, he's got enough ground clearance. He really is absolutely walking through with ease. This is a big score, and as the clock ticks down, what's it gonna be? There goes the klaxon. 128! 128! Let's find out how your opponents do. Slithery's got 128 to beat. Let's see if he does it. Three, two, one. Well, 128 is a massive score to beat, but Slithery is a massive zook, and look at that movement. Really interesting. But is it all? Oh, is it knocking down enough poles? Well, he's certainly getting going now. And as the clock ticks down, I've got a feeling this is going to be really, really close. Can Slithery do it? There goes the klaxon. It's 108. Team. Oh, 118. Terrific Tasmanian yes. Devils, but it just wasn't enough on that occasion. Well done, Canary Wolf, because you're taking a commanding two-second lead into today's final. Well, teams, this is what you and your Zooks have been working towards today's Bamzuki final. Now, I want you to take a really close look at this because it's split into four very distinct challenges, okay? And what you've got to do is think back to what your Zooks have done throughout the show, whether they've impressed you or whether they haven't, and try and work out which Zook you want to take on which challenge for you. Get in your groups, have a little think about that, and while you do, I'm going to tell you about something brand new to Bamzuki. This is the lap leaderboard challenge. Everyone from Radio 1 DJs to CBBC presenters are going to be testing out their favourite zooks right here. Rich, who's up first? Nosey and Bernard have already set lap times around our course, so we needed someone at the top of his game. Literally, he's one of the UK's top rock climbers. Spring line, come on! It's Leo Holding. So this is spring -oid. He looks a bit weird, but he's a natural-born winner. I've been working so hard on this Zook, I haven't touched rock for a month. Come on, spring -oid. Stay on track, stay on track. Go on, spring -oid. Go on, mate. Looking good this time, that's it. Stay focused, that's it, that's it. Just round this corner. Come on! All right, 25.1 seconds. How do we do, Rich? Well, Bernard set the pace at 17 seconds, so with 25.1, you haven't quite reached the summit. Second place, first place loser. spring -oid, you're in the bad books. Not bad for a first attempt, and keep on watching Bamzuki to see how the lap leaderboard progresses. Right, Rich, the Zooks have been selected. They're in their order. Talk us through them. Well, they put the big guns up first. Bulldozer against Slithery. Second leg, it's Crocodilian against Swimming Webber. Third leg, Stingfire against Telly Olliman. And finally, the new kids on the block, Crunchily against Bleepy. Nice hat. Yeah, very nice hat. Look at Slithery actually hanging off the table. Right, this is it, the final. Let's start the countdown. Three, two, one. <laughs> well, off goes Bulldozer with that two-second lead. He's a big brute. And here comes Slithery. Can he make up the gap? Well, he has, because he's tagged Slithery. Weber because Crocodilian is stuck. Living Weber goes over. Tags Kelly Oliver, who misses. Bleepy. He's trying to tag the wrong Zook. Oh, what a disaster. He's going round and round. And meanwhile, here comes Stingfire. There goes Crunchly. Unbelievable. That is so unlucky. You were massively in the lead, and unfortunately, Telly Oliver let you down during Free Lily and let you down again. Really unlucky, but fantastic, Zooks. Canary Wolf, you're back for the semi-final. Yes! Congratulations, you were superb. I thought Bulldozer was going to throw it away, but he did well. There you go, your very own pictures. And if that's got you inspired, log on right now, bbc.co.uk slash cbbc. Click on Bamzuki for a whole world of Zooks, thousands of them. Rich, what an amazing final. Bamzuki, Jake. Indeed. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye. I'm loving this and going nowhere. The next heat is right now. Hey, Jake, Nosey's wearing this new aftershave that makes him irresistible to women's suits. <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah, right. <gasps> that is unbelievable. Right, Rich, order me two bottles of that straight away. And, hey, maybe to go with Nosey's newfound popularity, he could take some fashion tips from our first team. Oh, I think I found myself a date. Hello? <laughs> Cheeky Mover is a very colourful zook, like strutting its stuff and is raring to go. His leg lift is very high because his IK is own sort of a house shape, so it's very good at hurdles. Cheeky Mover is a very fast zook because it's very aerodynamic. 
All that suits are very colourful and extremely fashionable. Tiki Monster is a very steady and stable suit. He's very good at block pushing because he's got sturdy legs and doesn't skid. Cheeky Foot On is a very round zook, so his, his legs are very evenly spaced out, which helps him turn. We experimented with the turning sharpness of the Cheeky Racer. First of all, we turned it up too much and it started skidding. So then we turned it down and now we have the perfect turning sharpness. This season's zooks. Don't proceed with that one. And stepping out on the catwalk, we have Cheeky Ramster, Cheeky Full On, Cheeky Racer and Cheeky Mover. Now, girls, when we see all your zooks together on a table like this, the first thing that strikes me is Ramster and Mover, they look so different. Which do you prefer, Nicola? I um, prefer Ramster because it's better at moving things and it's quite a strong zook. Um, Cheeky Mover was meant to go over hurdles and it's sort of mucked up a bit. We try to fix it. It works a bit better now. Are you saying, even before the show's hardly started, you've got a zook that you're a bit worried about? Emily, why is your team going to win today? Because you've all got different zooks and they're all good for different obstacles. Best of luck. It's now time to meet your opponents and I tell you, I wouldn't want to get in the ring with these boys. Whew. We're the Velocirippers. And we're ready for action! I designed Razor Blade to do monster everything. He's good at running and it's good at the lap because we made it turn more. He's an all-rounder, really. Thrasher! Well, we've designed Thrasher for the hurdles. He's got very long legs and when the legs at the front go forward, it like pulls the rest of the body forward with it. And he thrashes people. <laughs> I designed Von Speedenstein to be good at pushing by giving him a square face. I also worked on the stability because you don't want a zoop that's falling over, do you? If you mess with the Velocirippers, you'll be going down! And coming up, we have Razorblade, Avenger, Thrasher, and Von Spiedenstein. At first glance, your zooks look very, very different, but I have noticed something, Christopher. They've all got six legs. Why is that? We originally had four legs, but when they had four legs, they kept falling over. So what we did, we added an extra two legs, and we found them more stable. And then we found a, a technique to actually make the legs move at different times, so they're even more stable. Avenger is a really fantastic-looking zook. Aaron, I can see the smile on your face there, because you designed him. Yeah. Uh, tell me all about him. When we decided to make a team, it was quite... Um, we thought, well, fast zooks are quite common, so why don't we make a few fast zooks? Fantastic. Good luck, lads. Let's get on with the show. It's time for the first contest. <laughs> Teams, Danger Zook, latest release, is a brand new game to Bamzuki, and I'll tell you now, Daniel, it's a tough one. Bernard, nosy, show us how it's done. Now, this one is all about speed. You've got to get to the end before your opponent, avoiding loads of these balls. But here's another tip, OK? Pick a zook that's too small, it's going to get knocked over by the balls, and you're probably not going to win for the first time today. Pick a zook, go on. It's all about this choosing process. Let's see how they get on. Or perhaps Cheeky Foot On, because no, perhaps... No, because Cheeky Foot On has got, like, big legs, which can help. I think we should fight fire with fire, with, um... Razor Blade. Razor Blade. We all agree on Cheeky Foot On? Razor Blade. 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 OK, teams, come on, let's go. Now, if I was a Zook, and trust me, I'm not, I wouldn't fancy Danger Zook much. These two are going to take quite a battering. And who are these lucky Zooks? It's Cheeky Full On in green and Razor Blade in red. Thanks very much, Rich. Now, Laura, you're up against Razor Blade, one of the fastest Zooks for the Velocirippers. Are you at all worried about losing this? Not really. Why not? Because all our Zooks are good, so we just hope, we're just hoping for the best. All right, best of luck, both teams. Let's start the countdown. Three, two, one. Well, it's a quick start there for Razorblade, but that means he's the first one to get clattered by the ball, but he's made good progress. Definitely the quicker of the two suits. He's been spun round, and that means Cheeky full on can eat into his lead, but it doesn't look like he's going to catch him. It's a victory for the Reds. Nicola, Cheeky full on didn't quite do it. What was the problem? 
I think he wasn't strong enough to push the balls out of the way. It sort of got a bit behind. OK, unlucky. And Velocirip is a massive chew at the end. I'm not surprised. You take the lead as we start the second contest. <laughs> This is all about power. The aim of this one is for you to push this giant block into your opponent's half and then run back to your half as quick as you can. If that block is in your opponent's half when the cracks and goes at the end of the game, you've won, but only if you've managed to race back. If you're left in their half, you're going to lose. And we'll know who's lost because your tower will collapse. Teams, it's a big decision. Time to pick your second zook. Well, the Velocirippers made the right decision first time round. Can they do it again? What about Thrashers? We need quite a strong Zook for this game because you've got to push the block over. Yeah, they might choose Cheeky Racer, a really, really fast Zook. I don't think Cheeky Racer's strong. Thrasher fast. can push and it's fast. Right, so we all decide on Cheeky Ramster? Yeah. yeah. Thrasher. 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 Interesting matchup. Come on, teams, let's get it on. If ever two Zooks looked like they were built to push a large object around, it's these two brutes. For the Cheeky Chicks, we've got Cheeky Ramster. And in red for the Velocirippers, it's Thrasher. Thanks, Rich. Dan, you, you and the rest of the Velocirippers are up against Cheeky Ramster. How are you going to get on? I don't know, really, because ours is fast and theirs looks strong, so just have to see what happens. OK, Dan, you think you've got a strong Zook. You'll be hoping it is. Let's find out. Let's start the countdown. Three, two, one. Come on! It's all about brute strength. Bosh! Look at that! Thrasher there first, but Cheeky Ramster got the block into Thrasher's half straight away. And Thrasher now trying to get it back. But look at Cheeky Ramster. He is one tough suit. But hang on a minute. He's helping Thrasher to push it into his own half. What an idiot! Turn round, Zoo! He's got it. He's got it in his own half. And oh no, look at Thrasher. He's on his back. Is it a tactic? Well, if it is, it's a rubbish tactic. He's firmly in his half. He's going to fall off. There he goes. It's a victory for Ramster. <laughs> Congratulations. Yay. Fantastic result for you, Daniel. Why did you see it go upside down? I don't know. <laughs> you know. Too strong. Too strong. Just a bit of a design flaw. Unlucky, guys. But the good news is it's really hotting up in here. It's one all, and it's time for the third contest. <laughs> I love anything to do with football. That's why I love Zook Ball. Now, as you know, the aim of this one is for you to try and score in the goal. At the moment, Bernard's the goalkeeper, so Nosy, off you go. Let's see how you get on. Now, you're going to have two chances to score, and equally, you're going to have two chances to go in goal. Now, as the goalkeeper, just like that, you need a big, strong Zook. And as the striker, you need a fast and accurate Zook to try and get it in the back of the net. Bernard's off. Nosy hasn't scored. Let's hope you do better. Teams, off you go. <laughs> Well, with the scores at one all, what better than a penalty shootout? But who's going to take it? But Cheeky Move would be quite good. Avenger would be good for striking, but Von Speed and Stein would be a goalkeeper because of his flat face. As long as it's quite strong, it doesn't really matter how fast it is. We all agree on Von Speed yes. and Stein then. Yeah. Cheeky Racer? Yeah. 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 Great. Okay, then. You've chosen your Zook. Let's see how they do. Oh, the pressure of a penalty shootout. We've got Cheeky Racer in green and Von Spiedenstein in red. Now, Von Spiedenstein sounds a bit German. Good choice. We all know how jammy they are in penalty shootout. You're not wrong, Rich. Right, the Zooks are on the table. Teams, I can't emphasise how important this is. Whoever wins this will take a lead into the final. It's without doubt the most important contest so far. Cheeky Racer is shooting first. Let's see if he scores. Three, two, one... <laughs> Cheeky Racer, up he comes, makes good contact with the ball, but it's going to be woefully wide. It's a miss. I'm afraid that aim by Cheeky Racer was pretty poor. Let's see if Von Spiedenstein can do any better. <laughs> Von Spiedenstein comes up to the ball, but out comes Cheeky Racer, tips it round the post. I think that goes down as a fantastic save by Cheeky Racer, but can he score? Let's see. Off we go. <laughs> Up comes Cheeky Racer. Oh, Von Spiedenstein doesn't get there. Hits the post. It's a scramble, but it's over the line. That is a goal by Cheeky Racer. Right, boys, Von Spiedenstein has got to score for you to draw this contest. Let's see what happens. Well, Von Spiedenstein has the hopes of the Velocirippers on his Zuki shoulders, but look at this. Out comes Cheeky Racer. What a save. What a save indeed. And as Cheeky Racer drops off the table, lads, I'm so sorry. Von Spiedenstein just couldn't get the goal that he needed. Unlucky. 
Cheeky chicks. You're taking the lead into today's final. Congratulations. Let's see what does happen. This is today's Bamzuki final. And this, teams, is what your Zooks have been working towards today's Bamzuki final. Now, it is only one final, but it consists of four very different challenges, from obstacles to revolving doors to hurdles. All sorts of stuff is on here. And what you've got to do is try and work out which Zook is going to tackle which obstacle the best. So think what you've learned on today's Bamzuki. Get in your teams and have a chat. While we do, Rich, let's chat about the Zook lap leaderboard challenge, because everyone's been going mad on the website. Who's getting involved today? Only Zoe Salmon from Blue Peter. Calm down, Zoe. Tell us about your Zook. I called my Zook Pillow because I love to sleep. Just adding the finishing touches. It's looking quite slow. Come on, quick around that corner. Come on, come on, pick it up. Just heading up towards the third corner now. Oh, come on, it's just a little bit more to go. Come on, pick it up. 25.5 seconds. How did it do? Well, Zoe, the good news is you're third. Bad news, only four Zooks have had a go. Oh, well, fingers crossed they're big Liz. <laughs> yeah, I think we'll have to wait and see, Zoe. Good luck, though. Find out how Liz does next time on Bamzuki. Right, Rich, the Zooks are on the table. Time to talk us through the lineup. First up is Cheeky full on against von Spiedenstein. Second leg, it's a rematch of Pass the Blast. Cheeky Ramster and Thrasher. Third leg, Cheeky Mover. Not seen him before, up against Razorblade. And the final sprint, Cheeky Racer against another new bug, Avenger. Right, Cheeky Chicks, you've got a one second lead over the Velocirippers. It's going to be so close. May the best Zooks win. Let's do it. This is today's Bamzuki final. Three, two, one. <laughs> Off goes Cheeky full on with that now. Meanwhile, Von Spiedenstein is pretty well and truly stuck with the blocks, but Cheeky Ramster isn't making much progress either. Not a lot happening. One of them's got to make a move. I think it's going to be Cheeky Ramster. He's tagged Cheeky Mover. Cheeky Mover tagged Cheeky Racer. But oh my goodness, Cheeky Racer is stuck underneath Cheeky Mover. And as Razor Blade tags Avenger, can Racer drag Mover over the line? Losser Rippers, that was so unlucky. You were so far behind. Von Spiedenstein had an awful start. And Daniel, I thought you were going to go through the floor jumping up and down there. You've brought some fantastic zooks to the table, so well done. Just weren't quite good enough in the end. Girls, you're back for the semi-final. Congratulations, there you go. Your very own Bamzuki pictures. You can enjoy those. Are you proud of your zooks? Yes. yes. All right, they did really well. And if that's got you excited, log on to the website, check out the message boards and chat about Bamzuki. Rich, that was a phenomenal final. Uh, a classic Bamzuki final, Jake. You're not wrong. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Goodbye. Well I'm looking for a rocket boy. Omninet says he lives here.